Experiment to determine the total hardness in a water sample. Measuring the hardness of water involves measuring the concentration of calcium and magnesium ions in a sample of water. The sum of the concentration of calcium and magnesium ions in the water is called the total hardness of the water. The concentration of the calcium and magnesium ions is determined using a chemical called ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid, commonly referred to as EDTA for short. The EDTA works by wrapping itself around the Ca2 plus and Mg2 plus ions in the water to form what is called a complex. The reaction may be represented as shown on the screen. It is important that you remember that the EDTA and Ca2 plus ions react in the ratio of 1 is to 1 as you will need to know this ratio in future calculations. The pipette, burette and conical flask have been rinsed out with deionized water. The pipette has been rinsed with some of the hard water sample and the burette with some of the EDTA solution. 50 cm cubed, that is 225 cm cubed samples of the hard water sample have been pipetted into a conical flask. Add 1 cm cubed of the buffer solution to the conical flask. Add a small amount of the solid area chrome black tea indicator to the conical flask also. In this titration, we use a buffer solution to keep the pH around 10 as the indicator works best around this pH. This will help to give us an accurate endpoint in the titration. The burette has been filled to the mark with EDTA solution and the funnel removed. We have checked that the space below the tap is filled. Note that the colour of the solution in the conical flask is wine red. Titrate in the usual manner until the colour of the indicator changes from wine red to blue. The change of colour of the area chrome black tea from wine red to blue tells us that all the Ca2 plus and Mg2 plus ions have been converted to the corresponding EDTA complexes. The end point can be quite difficult to detect as the colour change is not as obvious as in the case of acid base indicators. We carry out one rough and two accurate titrations which should agree to within 0.1 cm cubed. Using the data obtained when you carried out this titration, calculate the total hardness of the water. The method of calculating the total hardness of the water sample is shown in your textbook. This concludes the experiment.